Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another video collab with Leslie Logan of Profitable Pilates, and we're still deeply in the midst of our The Struggle is Real series. And thank you so much. Everyone has been very complimentary of the videos and saying that they are very informative and helpful. And you've even suggested some exercises that you struggle with. And oh my gosh, I can't believe that I left them off the list because we have a couple coming up that are not foundational exercises anymore. And one of them, the one we're gonna do today, is one of my very favorites. Although I know it is an exercise that people, a lot of people struggle with. And then next week we'll have another video which it, was my huge struggle. You probably, if you've been watching for a while, you can guess what it is. Today's exercise, as I said, is one of my very favorites, and it was suggested by an Instagram follower, um, Pilates Life of Jess. So thank you so much for suggesting. My favorite exercise, although it is a struggle for a lot of people, um, the open leg rocker. And I really am a fan of all the rolling exercises. Um, rolling like a ball, of course, is a precursor and a, a prerequisite to this exercise, the open leg rocker. And so let's talk a little bit about the basic standard version of the exercise, ways you can advance the exercise, and also ways that you can give an assist to those who need it. Um, let's just take a look at what we're talking about. So usually if you start the open leg rocker, you might learn to start it like this, and then you hold your balance and extend your legs up. And then once you can do that, you will rock back and forth presumably with control. <laughs> and then maybe when you get a little bit more uh, proficient, you might use your stomach and lift your legs up into your hands and begin that way. You know, we all, Pilates people, we all love a good transition, right? And then maybe after a while you're doing your open leg rocker, you've got your hands on your ankles and you're pretty good at it. And then maybe you might challenge yourself further by doing a little extra balancing. And then you might even proceed eventually to the ultimate of the open leg rocker, which is the legs together and holding onto your toes with the heels reaching. And then you would continue on your mat workout back into the corkscrew. So, there's a lot of things that can happen with this exercise. And often it's a challenge for people because of tightness. Um, well, you know, it, it takes balance, it takes control, of course. Uh, but often people are tight either in the back of the leg or the low back, especially, or often everything back there is not very flexible and therefore to be in that position with straight legs is challenging. But I'm here to tell you that even if this is your worst exercise, we have a way to make, to give you a little assist to make it better. And if you use the assist consistently, I can't stress this enough, consistently every time you practice, it will eventually get better to where you won't need the assist anymore. So let's talk about what the assist is and how to break it down and why you care about this assist and what it's doing for you. Okay, so the assist is, uh, somewhere in your studio, there probably exists some leg springs with, which come with these little foot straps. And actually, there's a lovely company that sells fancy, fancy, beautiful foot straps that someday, I hope, I'll, I'll get some. <laughs> these are a little bit uh, not as flashy. Um, but anyway, so you're going to give yourself um, a little assist so that the open leg rocker, to, to receive the maximum amount of benefit from it, you should do it with straight legs. Um, everyone with the assist should, if they're able to do this exercise, they should be able to do it with straight legs. It's a challenge, but it's not comfortable because it's exercise. So what you'll do, so usually the people that need the assist is the people that they can have straight legs maybe, but their hands are here and they're way back here maybe. And, or, you know, to reach, the goal is that you're trying to reach up as high as you can to your ankle and beyond because you want to get this whole upper part of you to stretch and to lift up. So usually the people that are sinky, you know, that you see them in stomach massage, those are the people that are going to kind of be struggling to reach up to get their legs. And you know, no open leg rockers like this with bent legs. Bad. 
no, no, no. <laughs> so those people, and especially if they're people who have been with you for a long time, they're proficient students, as soon as you give them these and they feel what it does, they'll be on board. You'll put the straps on your feet and you're just gonna hold the strap toward the end, just like you would hold the strap for like pulling straps. And then now you, your back gets a lift and a help on the way to reaching to your ankle. So, and it'll make it a little more challenging because it's, it's changing it for them a little bit, but it'll also give them an assist. They might get a little wambly because they have like more to control in the balance, but it's gonna put them in their stomach where they need to be to support the length of their leg. And over time, practiced regularly with the assist and you know all their other Pilates exercises, the back will open up and they'll eventually be able to do it without the assist and hold their ankles. So that is my rant about using the straps to better your open leg rocker. And that is really what you're trying to do. If someone continues to do the open leg rocker with their hands low, with bent legs, not lifting and reaching up, this is never really going to get better. So use the straps if you have them. And if you're in a mat class and you, know, you can request them, I'm sure they have some in the studio, just put them by your mat. These just sit by the mat and the people that know they need them, use them when they get to that exercise. Okay, so we already talked a little bit about ways to advance the exercise. So pretty much holding the legs apart, wider than the mat, about as wide as the mat, it gives the back a little bit of a not need not to open up so much. So it's a little easier with the legs open. The closer the legs get together, the more demanding and the more flexible the back needs to be to roll smoothly. So that's why when you hold your legs at the, to at the toe, all the way to the toe with your legs together, it's pretty much the ultimate in open leg rocker and the, and the ultimate in stretching and flexing uh, and making the whole back of you flexible. So that's a way you can make it challenging for those who love it, like me, and uh, give an assist for those who struggle with it. And usually people will have to balance in that position either with these or just holding their leg and be pretty solid first before they rock back and forth. Um, but do give these a try. I'm a big fan. And it's nice to see the people who have been struggling with it without these, but they've been doing plies for a long time. And once you give them those straps and they put them on, they immediately notice that it, they find their center really quickly. And they usually are quite relieved and happy to like have you know, another uh, little step on the way to bettering their open leg rocker. So thank you, Pilates Life of Jess, for suggesting this exercise. I love it. And I hope that those of you who struggle with it, um, stay tuned next week because we'll talk all about the exercise that I struggle with, did, and still do sometimes. So um, you're not alone. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any other exercises you'd like to suggest for our Struggle is Real series, please leave me a comment below and I'm happy to entertain doing more Pilates exercises. Thank you so much. Bye. The teaser on the long box is not the first teaser that you learn. You may learn it first on the Cadillac or also on the mat. And although you might not be great at the teaser there, usually you visit it there first before you're seated atop the box, which feels like you're on the edge of a cliff sometimes the first time you try it. And you have a lot of straps to deal with.